last night. Probably more than you think. We have about four to six dreams every night, but we forget 95% of them. So what's going on up there in our minds? Dreams have been the inspiration of fiction, music, art, and even inventions. To understand dreams is to gain deep insight into the inner workings of the human mind, something which we could all use. I've researched the subject, I've researched the subject for about a month. I've read, I've found academic papers, and now I'll tell you what I've learned. Today, we will examine how dreams have been understood throughout history, from ancient mystical understandings to early scientific theories to what modern advancements have shed light on. Let's start from the beginning. In the past, some dreams were considered to have supernatural origin and significant meaning. Some people believe that dreams could be used for, for predicting the future. One of these people was Arthur de Morse, who in the second century CE wrote a dream interpretation manual called the Oneirophagica. It gives instructions on how to use dreams to interpret, and it gives instructions on how to interpret dreams to predict the future. Many people have reported seeing their dead relatives in dreams. This matches up with the idea that dreams are out-of-body experiences and they can be links to the supernatural world. Although it can't be confirmed scientifically, there is plenty of anecdotal evidence that might make it worth consideration. Now let's see how the theories have changed in more recent centuries. In the 19th century, there was a growing emphasis to understand the world scientifically. Attempts to explain dreams moved away from the supernatural and towards a more refined theory of psychology, especially how dreams relate to the subconscious mind. The pioneer in psychology, Sigmund Freud, viewed dreams as, quote, the royal road to the subconscious. The purpose of dreams, according to Freud, was to serve as a form of wish fulfillment. Carl Jung, a Sigmund Freud student, also considered dreams to be expressions of the subconsciousness. Open, honest expressions. Dreams tell you things about yourself that you didn't know or didn't understand. These, this understanding has made its way into popular culture, but advancements in technology have provided us with new insights. MRI scans allow us to see brain activity in, in, in our sleep when we dream. This, had led sci this has led scientists to develop new theories. One of these theories is that dreams are simply random impulses of activity. They have no connection to each other, and we only construct them into dreams when we wake up and remember them. Another theory is that dreams, especially nightmares, are a way for us to prepare for threats to simulate threats and prepare for them. And now for a quick recap of our discussion. We've discussed how dreams have been understood throughout history from the mystical interpretation of the past to theories relating to the subconsciousness to not to more modern theories of brain activity. And with that said, I encourage all of you to pay a little more attention to this amazing experience of the human mind.